this is Lyrical and I'm back again with another baking video. So today we're going to be making some lavender Earl Grey butterfly cookies and that is from the Nightmare Before Christmas baking cookbook. Um, we're doing these as a special gift for our best friend Margie whose birthday is coming up. So what we need is going to be some unsalted butter, uh, Earl Grey tea leaves, if you need, yeah, um, granulated sugar, lavender, flour, fine sea salt, a large egg, and some vanilla extract. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and melt our butter. So in a medium saucepan with medium heat, you want to melt your butter. If I can get it off of there, Rar. And we're going to wait until that is all nice and melted before we add our tea. All right, now that our butter is melted, we need to add in our tea leaves. And remove that all from the pot. For about 10 minutes, as we allow everything to infuse together. Okay, we will be back. Okay, with our butter okay. mixture in the fridge for about 20 minutes, we need to take a bowl with our sugar and our lavender and rub these two together. Okay, next thing we want to do is drain our butter and our tea leaf mixture. Well, the next thing we want to do is in our mixer, we want to put our flour. Oops. Yay, I am like totally blind right now. <laughs> Thank you for the assistance and our salt. And we just want to whisk those together. Okay, with our butter now out of the fridge, we need to add this to our flour mixture. And we also want to add our sugar mixture, our lavender sugar mixture. Yay. And we want to beat this for about two minutes until it is light, fluffy, and it has doubled in volume. And you'll do that on a high speed. Hey, this is Pixel stepping in for a moment. We did mix some of the ingredients in the incorrect order, which totally happens. I've done it a few times myself especially when you're just learning to make stuff. But to correct what we've done, we are going to crack open one of our egg ahead of time, put in our vanilla, but not right yet, because we're gonna whip this really good together. All right, so now we are just going to add our flour mix to the rest. And we'll get that combining together thoroughly. Alright, it is Pixel once again. I'm going to help Lyrical out by explaining that we get to divide up our dough. Don't over knead it. It's already been into the food mixer. But we're going to roll it out into two little flat discs like so. And either in cling wrap or in a bag like this. And we'll be putting it in nice airtight. 
I'm going to put that into the refrigerator, usually for two hours or overnight. We are going to opt for overnight. All right, you guys, we have already refrigerated our dough. We've taken that out and we've rolled out one. So the next thing we have to do is use our cutouts. Cut out butterflies. So, we're going to go ahead and do this with the rest of our batter, and we'll be back. You want to put these in for about 8 to 10 minutes. All right, now that our cookies are done, all we have to do now is taste test them. And we're going to allow Margie to do that. So. All right, got to give honest opinion on them. My butt. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a grunt of approval. Yep. <laughs> approval grunts. All right. Maybe we should taste one together. Oh, okay. Oh my God, they're nice and chewy. Oh, I like them. Me too. They are so full of flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Well, if you like this video, let me know. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. Mm -hmm. If you make these, let me know. I would love to see what you guys do different. Um, yeah, for now on, this is going to be it. And we will talk to you later. Bye.